Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Splinter Cell. To make uh, start that off with the ever-loving Sam <clears throat> noise, because of course. And uh, here we go, moving into the next room, which will of course be problematic, I'm sure. Although it seems to be a hallway, so maybe not as problematic as I expected. Well, there's definitely someone walking around down here, though. I guess the question becomes, are they going to round the corner? It doesn't seem like it. Gotta love areas where you really don't have a lot of room to see. Okay. Oh, dang it. Alright. Well, looks like we're just gonna have to pull in the other way. Alright, let's get back there. Gotta be aware of him. Otherwise, this isn't so hard to deal with. Just gotta pull him this way. Get him out of view. And then we can knock him out over here. And then we can worry about the other man. Okay, he'll come back down here. And as soon as he starts walking up that way, we're good to grab him. He stops here, looks at his buddy. What a weird frickin'. What a weird way to patrol, but I mean, you do you, I guess, buddy. Now that he's out. Man, it would be really weird if they changed patrols, too. I could see, especially the later Splinter Cell games, definitely doing that. Now, here's a question I can't really see that far down. It does look like there's a place to hide on the right. Don't know if it's worth it to go for that. It doesn't really seem to look this way. Ah, there's another man right there. No one I've seen comes this way. This one they just made difficult because it's a rather small window to move them through. I, I wish you could take out the lights in this area. I really do. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Oh God, you really can't see anything without the thermal. Okay. Basically require that you take out all these guys. Thankfully, no one's going to come through this area, so we're pretty safe on just leaving them there. At least I don't think anyone will come through these areas. If they do, like, I'm not entirely sure what they wanted us to do. So there is an under... There's a place we can go under there. And over here, nothing. Okay. But it looks like we are finally done with this freezer area. We can now head down below in the freezer area. Man, this game would be so much harder if you had to, like, watch Sam's freaking uh, body temp and everything like that. I'm just going to save before we come up out of this. Because I fully don't trust whatever's about to happen. Especially because there's glass right here. Glass to me always means the lights will turn on. But, also, for all I know, maybe it's just the Americans down here. Um... I Engaging hot yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Okay, so let's... Make this a little... 
safer for us. Hello? Thank you, Sam. The hell indeed. Now the question becomes, are you gonna come in here? That's weird. You do. Well, you made it real easy to grab you, I guess. Worth it. No satchel from you, huh? Okay. Now we can grab this without any problem. I'm carrying too many, but oh, I didn't reuse that one. Ooh. God, Sam. You need not with your weird noises. Okay. These are unbreakable lights. Okay. So now the problem becomes how do we get through this area without being seen by anyone? What does this do? Oh good, it opens the corridor where the meat goes through. I imagine we have to do this because of the, uh... Because there's likely a dude down here. Or even if there's not, there's probably just no way to continue down this way. Right? Oh yeah, because they totally blocked off this... This, uh, door. Alright, nope. No way but through. Oh! New level, huh? Let's make myself feel a little bit better. So... There's a guard right down here. Likely maybe more than one. Is this your patrol, just back and forth? Oh, this is a... the actual, like, stable area. Interesting. Well... We can bonk him on the head here. So there are chains in this area. If you hit the chain, you will, uh, make some noise? It may or may not alert anybody nearby, um, more than likely will. There are a bunch of light bulbs here that are, um, not protected, thankfully. We can actually take them out. I don't know what the purpose of this, like, upper area here is, though. I've always wondered about this, because it's not like you can really do much up here. I guess if you take out one of the light bulbs, you can use this area to hide. Because, like, they, they will not be able to see you up there. But... Not super necessary. I mean, like, it's realistic, I guess. But, like, I always feel like when you're designing an area in a game like this, you want uh, to have a purpose for, like, the things that you can interact with. Because otherwise, it's just a little strange. So, we can turn off the lights, I believe, with that little valve thing. Well, let's see where they are, because... They may be moving through here. They do indeed move through here. Can't switch that object. Alright, I'm gonna wait until he, uh... Well, I'm gonna wait and watch for a second. See if he comes back. Or if anybody else comes through here. Seems like he's the only one. And he looks down here when he comes through. I may be able to just...
grab him by waiting here. Because he won't come through again. Grab him, knock him out. Take him where I need him to be. Because he should come through and take a look that way. And he does indeed. I don't see anyone down there, but I thought I could interact with that, you know, either as a spigot or just a light thing, but I guess not. <laughs> I wonder if I shot that, would it start a fire? Probably not. They weren't thinking that far ahead uh, at this point in time making games, but that would be pretty interesting. Certainly make a big mess for them to have to suddenly deal with. All right, well, you two have a nice little sleep together, cuddled up in the corner. I'm so glad it's not... The, uh, flashlight guards. Oh yeah, by the way, the same fix that I did for the spotlight uh, also would have worked for the flashlight guards, so I would have been able to see their flashlight beams. Okay, nothing here but a dead cow. What about down here? There's a gun in there. Okay, the question becomes, where is the computer to access the gun that is behind it? Oh. Movement. Hello, alright, well. I didn't even know a dude spawned there. Never saw him before. But there is a gun over there that we can't access? Because you can't do the girder across trick. Hmm. I don't know. Interact flare. Well, we have a flare if we want it. And this is just a dead end. Okay. Hmm. That should spawn him. It was across in here. Looks in here. What does he do? Turns around and leaves? Okay. That doesn't super help me. Brag grenade and flare in here. Wait, what? There's something over there. Oh, dang it. Well, you know what? <laughs> what the? I shot you in the head, sir. You took a shot to the face and just didn't care. Okay. Hmm. What does the game want me to do about this gun? Is it... It seems like it's impervious to tampering. In its current location, anyway. Another flare. You really have a lot of flares here, huh? I have a bunch of flares. I also have a chemical flare. So I can get into the right area. Without notice. And you know what? I might just give him a pop in the face when he comes around, because I think we're dropping the pretense of being able to do this stealthily, although... Movement! What? Not movement. Although, I guess I could have just... I 
what is it aiming at? Huh? Is it aim at? Okay, hold on. How do I drop the object? There we go. Can I just not have an object, please? How do I drop the goddamn object? Alright, that's really annoying. Can I just... Oh my god. There we go. Huh. So it reacts to motion? Like throw over there? Or like... It can see me through the wall. Which also, frankly, is bullshit. I'm so confused as to how to deal with this goddamn gun. You know what? How, how about we just... We get a little easier to deal with our good friend there. Have him spawn. He'll see the lights out and he'll be like, oh, what? Excuse me, sir. Goes over to the gun. This is so bizarre. Goes to check out that over there. What is the AI doing? We're good. I'm... Oh, we never read his data stick, I don't think. I'm beyond confused there. Sir, the Chinese ambassadors keep talking to each other in Chinese. This probably isn't surprising, but it makes me worry since we can't understand them. I'm afraid they might be plotting something. Grinko has tried to force Long Dan to translate for us, but so far nothing has worked, and he has done some things I will not soon forget. I was wondering, sir, if we could borrow one of the General Fei Rong's troops for the duration of our stay here, to watch over the ambassadors and translate for us if needed. Thank you. Respectfully, David... something. Did we read the one before? Yes. Okay. Nope. Not the main menu. I think this is a far better place to save. Alright. Why not take out the light here? There are objects here, so I wonder if I throw an object like... What the fuck? I, I I'm 
beyond confused at the conundrum of this gun. What did they want you to do here? Like, like they clearly had an idea in mind. Okay, so here's an, a thought I had. Taking out this light makes the gun, like, go crazy. Oh my god. I'm not wasting that many bullets on this stupid fucking aiming. Okay, I guess that works. What? I'm not gonna question it. Whatever. You can you can get past it by uh, interacting with that. Is this? Nope, I don't want that. I want the ammo, please. Can I interact with the ammo? Okay. Then five five six ammo is for my other gun. Which I actually could reload. Okay. We now should have basically full ammo for both. Dealt with the gun. I'm, I'm like pseudo like trying to make this a walkthrough because like some of the things in this game are really nonsensical with how you deal with them. Also, there's two light bulbs right next to each other? Alright. Two guys over there. Might be two light bulbs here too, just because. I hate this game's aiming. The worst thing on the planet. Sam Fisher couldn't hit, like, a broadside of a barn. Alright. Well, unfortunately, we deal with, uh... Quite a bit of light as soon as we enter into here. Going over there is a quite a bad idea, because in the stable, it's actually well lit. But what we can do is sort of get their attention and have them come over here, probably. And that would probably be the best Are you sure they put thing. him on a helicopter? Nicolás has left us. Grinko must think the Americans are here. God help us if they are. Identify yourself. Well, I wanted that light to get taken out, but that didn't happen. Of course, this guy's going to go over and he's going to be like, what? And then he's going to investigate where it came from. And my only hope is that he comes into this hallway area. Although I don't think he will. Maybe? Ooh, can I could I be so lucky? It's just my imagination. And funny enough, he doesn't see his friend get grabbed into the darkness. Okay, so that's one way to deal with that dude. I'm gonna take this guy over here and Give him a nice bop on the head. Ooh, he has a satchel. Don't mind if I do with the data stick. Colonel Vonagrov, or uh, whatever. Uh, if your men need to beat the Americans, they must confine themselves to body blows. We are less than 24 hours from their appearance on world media, and they need to be pretty for the cameras. Their deaths will be viewed and reviewed for decades to come. It must not be seen at all as an end to their suffering. Bloodied and bruised faces do not very well show fear. Let nobody mistake what we do for pity. Further damage to Americans' faces will not be tolerated. So interesting. He wanted to like show their fear and terror or anything and everything, so he's like, yep, stop hitting them in the fucking face. If I can get real lucky and actually shoot this goddamn fucking Who's there? Oh my god. Well Maybe we can just deal with him. Same way we dealt with his friend. And if the AI is at all somewhere, maybe he'll just go over there and, like, check out. Oh, uh, you know what we should do? We should... We didn't make a save, did we? Because we took out his friend and then we never saved. It looks like the AI is doing the exact same thing. So, if I could do this and he just comes in here for a second and turns around... I 
think it's because the AI, like, reaches their patrol area. Like, that's... Like, they're not supposed to go into other areas unless they know something's there, maybe? I don't know. It's very fascinating why... Uh... Neither of them continued on through the door. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, we know there's a gun in here. And I imagine the way to deal with this gun is just to go up and around, probably. Yeah. See, this is how I thought you would deal with the, uh, with the gun on the other side. I guess not. Alright, well, that's, that's good. Alright, and there's a couple of objects here, which are glass bottles. The good objects in this game, mind you. Um, but we don't actually need to use them. I think we're good here. And I don't actually... There's another gun over there. We can't deal with it the same way, however. Although there is a back area there. Although... Weirdly enough, it seemed that... Shooting a light out... Worked wonders for distracting it for a while. It didn't care? Also didn't care. Um... Hmm... Come on, Sam. Like, it's right next to you. There should be no reason you're missing any of these. Oh, I see. It was there. As soon as it's there. Oh, come on! So, wait. Okay. Okay, uh, I need to test something. Okay, no, it does it does latch on to you. So you can't just do a stop go thing. Okay, what the what? Okay, so we can just run past it. But that's not satisfying to me. Am I running too early? I am. Okay. Well, okay. Fine, I suppose. We'll leave one gun there, I guess. I don't like it, but I don't really see much of a alternative. Ooh! What the hell? This is not good. Especially because there's two of them. If there was one of them. might think of a way around this, however. Okay, he's coming back this way. He should go check on his buddy in a second. Bonk. Alright. Oh, whoop. 
I already did that. Uh, okay, I guess we're on to Q. Uh, sorry that I keep stopping to save, but like that's kind of what you have to do for this game. If you want to do it pretty flawlessly. I mean, I, I'm sure there are people who speed run this game. They're like, I'll just run past every enemy and they won't see me because they know how to mess with the AI. And I know how to mess with it in chaos theory a little bit. I don't know how it works in this one. It's a little bit more complicated and actually works relatively well. Like, weirdly enough, because the AI is actually more janky here, I feel like it's a little bit more realistic. Okay, well, this seems a little hard to know where I want to go. Ah. Unbreakable light here. Like, there's a lot of... Okay, this is all unbreakable lights, pretty much. This seems weird. This seems very strange. Lots of lights. No soldiers that I can see. And I can hear guns. Give myself a little area that I can actually sneak in. Should I need to, I can always come back to this dark area here. And it looks like the rest of the area is illuminated by unbreakable lights. Okay. Got a gun going back and forth for either side, but the middle is clear? What? I'm gonna do this disable IFF thing because if I need to come back here and there's people chasing me or something like that, it might not be a bad idea to go into the middle here and turn on the two, but it's very strange that this area has basically no people. Yeah, basically no people. Two turrets which are pointed away from you. And, like, it, it's not a small area by any means. Well, I've made it a little safer in case we come back through here, because I imagine that's what they want us to do. They want us to come in here, run to the middle, turn on the turrets, and then, like, we'll be able to shoot down whoever's chasing us. Because we you get pretty dark right here in the middle. I mean, it's not perfect, but it, it is fairly dark. Unfortunately... Oh, wait. I can't. There we go. Now it's really dark in the middle. I can't take out those guys. So we'll, we'll, we'll leave this area as it is. I don't know if it'll come into play at all. Oh, there's the Americans. Seems like. No, oh, and there's a bunch of guards right there. Oh boy, wait, are these the Americans or are these guards? Or yes. You are American. You're Chinese. The PRC ambassador to Myanmar. I must speak with a representative of your government. They hear everything I do. Shoot. Kong Furong does not represent the will of China. Ooh. He is a splinter faction of the Chinese army. 
all of them fanatics and fools. What does he want? First, Taiwan, with others to follow. Gifts to the PRC he thinks they will not be able to refuse. How is Nikolads involved? Trade. Farong provides transport and munitions in exchange for weapons-grade nuclear waste. Does China know? No. And unless they are issued proof of Farong's activities, I fear the certainty of war. What's the proof? On the computer in his office. My office. He has overridden and reset the lock. I force him to open his computer and forward the contents to the PRC. And our countries don't go to war. Such is my hope. The Americans have taken the basement. I want all available men armed to converge on the basement. We'll kill them all. See, this is what I was worried about. Now, if I come right here, turn them both on. Will they just get shot down by the turrets? Help! Jesus, help! Apparently not. Help! Oh, okay. Oh, God. They killed the troops, didn't they? I'm sorry. We can't politic our way out of this anymore. Okay. Uh. But apparently the turrets just don't care? Why didn't they work? Like, it, I literally did what... I don't understand. Alright, well... Seems like this is the perfect place to, uh... Place these guys, at the very least, so... to one right here. One right here. I want to place them far enough away that they're not blowing each other up. And then one right here, maybe? I I have frag grenades. I, I see. I don't even know what the wall mines are gonna do anything. So I guess let's make another save right here because this section is really weird. What happens if I talk to you guys first? I want to go home. You've come to save us. Where are the others? It's just me. Oh, crap. Thank God. They were gonna kill us. Where are the other soldiers? I don't think we can help you. We're too weak to fight. Okay. Maybe I'll leave this guy on. Although that didn't seem to like... The turret didn't seem to actually care, to be perfectly honest. <sighs> I guess. You are American. You're Chinese. The PRC ambassador... They hear right, we'll go through everything. No. What's the... On the... I... Set. The Americans are picking the best. I want all available men armed to converge on the best. We'll kill them all. Is it going to work at all? Hopefully that killed one of them. Colonel Baglet, report! Colonel Baglet! Damn I'm going down there. The Franco, you're coming with me. Mister, kill Franco. Okay. His men are mercenaries. Only cause money, intimidation. So, they scatter. 
help us! They're gonna kill us! Okay, how the... Uh... Alright, so these turrets do absolutely nothing to the enemy. Like, actually do absolutely nothing. I'm curious if my wall mines are in the right places. Because they seem to throw their own grenades down here. And I'm wondering if... Because I definitely saw two of them go off. I saw. I think I saw these two go off because they didn't get to us. So I wonder if having, like... Another one in the middle here might be good. It might take care of the people that are in... Come for... Me? I know they throw a grenade right there. I, I don't know if their grenades are... Well, I don't know. Actually, it seemed like this one went off and definitely killed a dude. You know what? We'll, we'll leave this one here. Yeah, I don't... The idea that I had with these turrets should have worked, but I guess the AI is totally broken with them. It's really dumb. Let me look at the walkthrough real quick and see if anybody mentions these turrets. Because they just don't work for me. But I wonder if this is the way they wanted you to do it. Oh, so... Wait. Do I have to leave the disable IFF on unchecked? And then it'll shoot anybody that goes through? This one I can leave on. Let's see if that works. Because I can run back here real quick. Get on to this one and then... All right, let me... You can, like, sort of jump on top. Ow. Oh, yeah. I don't know if this will work. You're not the hero. What is the... How is this? No, What's on I... The Americans are picking the best I want all available men armed to converge on the best We'll kill them all. Okay. So what happens when they get in here? You throw a grenade in here. That wall mine explodes. Help! Oh god, don't let us die! Okay. The turrets work. Someone else exploded. That one worked. Okay, so you have to actually uncheck disable IFF. I guess the idea is you can keep one side safe and just worry about security for the other. But you can also turn on both of them and it won't matter. I hate that they're programmed to actually throw grenades. That's kind of annoying. You guys, you guys good? Are they not going to run in towards the turrets? Because they should. Does he not? Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, so yeah, apparently Grinko just stays at the back of the room. But... We might be able to, uh... Pop him in the head, possibly? If we can see him? Oh, there he is. Really? So he just doesn't... Okay. We can get by this turret, though. Okay, well, he like runs back and forth between them, but if we just stay here, 
We can get some shots off on him. Because he just sort of randomly shoots her down the hallways. God, there's so much sway. So interestingly, I don't think Grinko actually knows where I am. I'm very curious about something. Whoa, what? Hello. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Let's just take him out next time we see him. He should run across here any second. Or not? Is there more than one man back here? There we go. Grinko dead! The kill Grinko! This is love Grinko is dead! Fisher, Echelon just picked out an intercept. Virong knows that Grinko's dead and Nicolads is gone. That's not good. Get back to the embassy. He's trying to destroy the evidence that could keep us out of a war. Right. There we go. Ah, one of the harder missions in this game. Okay. Thankfully, we have the... Uh, I think we're in the second to last one now. The rescue of the Ch U.S. troops and Chinese dignitaries has momentarily stabilized faltering U.S.-Chinese relations. The Chinese dignitaries claim that Fei Rong represents only a splendor faction of the PLA, operating without the knowledge of greater China. Proof that Fei Rong has gone renegade would prevent the, an impending war. Since the unexplained interruption of the webcast executions, no information of the captured American soldiers has surfaced. Has instated a complete media blackout regarding diplomatic negotiations between the U.S. and China. Authorities warn of the very real possibility of Georgian mercenaries releasing falsified news reports. The possibility that China was in any way involved in the still unconfirmed execution of American soldiers in the hope that the crisis can be averted before leading to world war. Yeah, we all hope that can happen. Discover President Nikoladze's secret. Following the rescue at the slaughterhouse, Fei Rong prepares to flee the embassy with a near-complete nuclear device. The only hope to prevent war between the U.S. and China over alleged Chinese support of Kumbaya Nikoladze for the third echelon is to find proof that Fei Rong is acting alone. I mean, yeah, that is the one step between us and, uh, full-scale nuclear war. We'll make this fast, Fisher. We need proof that Fairong represents a splinter faction opposed to the Chinese government. Am I still on leash inside the embassy? Not at all. You're fully authorized to use lethal force. Fifth freedom with everybody, except Fairong. We can't risk killing him until we've got proof. We're done with politics. This is war. All right. This is as close as we get. Lambert's worried about spooking Fairong. We'll make it work. Do good, Agent. I don't want to. Oops. I messed that up. Okay. So we have a camera jammer now because there are going to be cameras that we cannot actually destroy. We have five airfoil rounds, five sticky shockers, bunch of sticky cameras, like way more sticky cameras than we're going to know what to do with. Uh, five diversion cameras, optic cable, and five frag grenades if we need it. They really do equip us for the end here. Uh, and there's a lot here i think you can go into like all these storefronts too i don't even know what's in these you might want to look around around a little bit at the end here anything over here 
You just can't go that way. Okay. So there's a storefront here, and I can go in the back door of this area here. We've already heard that there are people walking around. Although they sound like they're coming from above, don't they? What's inside the door? Oh, it's the kitchen. What if it detonates on the way? The colonel told me that's impossible. Oh, crap. Sorry, buddy. I know you're just trying to run your restaurant, but... You know, sometimes you gotta do it the hard way. Open door. Let's grab you. I won't kill you, though. You're just somebody in the wrong place at the wrong time. There you go. Have a good sleep there. Now that we've done that... Hey! Turn the lights back on! Come on with the freaking There we go. Holy crap, dude. Like it's insane. Get in here and try to turn the lights back on. Please? I have a feeling that he's going to go towards the light switch now. Must have been nothing. Maybe a trick of these shadows. Really? 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 I mean, okay, I guess. But really? Who did that? Really? <laughs> A trick of the shadows? Really? It just Okay, whatever. He should walk right over to the switch. And we can just whoop. Whoop. Open the door, grab the body, throw him out here, have fun, and then we can do that. Oh, is the door not going to close because he's like in the way? Oh, okay, well. <laughs> and he will try to turn on the lights as well, and then we can just leave him back here because... They'll be, uh, taken care of. Bonk! Oh, he has a satchel! Oh, data sticks, my favorite. Alright. On it now, typing as I walk. Commandeered two other squads of men, forcibly taking and pulse wiping all solid state memory. All of us together should be able to make a clean sweep of the embassy in half an hour tops. There might be a few lingering fragments of information on individual sticks, but nothing worth worrying over. We won't leave any personnel out of the search and seizure, excepting, of course, you, sir. Kind of weird. Not English, but like not super proper grammar. And I feel good because we didn't kill the uh, the owner of this place. He's just a civilian. At least I'm pretty sure he's just a civilian. I mean, I guess we don't actually know for sure if he's a civilian. But yeah, if you were to come around here, bam, two soldiers kind of get shot in the face. Not a good time. But I think it's supposed to tell you like, hey, maybe check out the kitchen that's back there. 
There's someone in the bathroom? No one in either bathroom, okay. So... Was this entire thing just for some, uh... Data sticks? Was this entire thing for data sticks? Oh, wow. Okay, well... Yeah, we need to get on top of the roof. To continue forward. How do we do that? Not like we get up over there and go across, do we? Figuring out what you can interact with in this game is sometimes a puzzle in its own right. Because not everything is interactable. I... What? Am I just remembering something wrong? I thought there was something you can... Like a, a set of stairs in here, but... Is there not? I'm going crazy. Is there a, like a vent or something in one of these that you need to climb up? Okay, what is happening? Where do where where do you where do you go? <laughs> I'm having so much trouble figuring out how to go forward. Like you clearly need to go up the up there, but like. can get this high. That's about as high as I can get from there on those awnings. Do we actually need to... Am I going up this pole? All the way across? Is that what's happening? No? Because Sam would have grabbed on. I don't... I have completely lost sight of what I'm supposed to do here. Huh? Up here, maybe up here? Nope. Sam doesn't grab onto that. Okay, I will need to figure this out. So... I guess I will see everybody next time after I've had a chance to look up what's going on here. And uh, we will go and take care of Fairong. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!